Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to this in-depth guide of mods that I have. So um, today we're going to be doing Auto Forager bot because the other ones, uh, the other ones I have are Auto Weapon Swap, Rejoiner, Auto Minimum Tier, and Fulbright, which, which should be understandable. They're really easy mods to figure out. The Auto Forager seems to be uh, really confusing a lot of people, so. I'm making an in depth quite on that one. God, that's an angry dog. Shut up, doggo. Okay, right. Um, that is a bad axe to be using for this. Okay, wait. Uh, I have no clue if I have an axe. Oh, yeah, I do. Right. Jungle box. So we go over to the hub. And then we go over to the park, right? So, the thing about the Auto Forager mod is that people think it works in a way, but it really doesn't. So, how the Auto Forager bot works is when you enable it, it searches in a radius of area, which you set at the start. So, if I open this, uh, the default radius is 10 blocks, right? So, it searches 10 blocks wide, and if don't jump off the edge, I don't want that to happen. I'm pretty sure I still have it. Yeah, right. Set radius. Radius, if I can spell shit. So if you just make it 100, right? It <laughs> Jesus Christ. It doesn't say anything, but it actually set the radius to 100. So when you enable this, you should feel a bit of a lag while the bot is searching every block. There you go. There's the lag. And now it's looking over to the blocks and mining them. Which he found this as a little block and is trying to mine it. I mean these guys. So yeah, it's a bit bulky at higher areas. So if I just stay here, right? I have a full things arguing me. So if I just make this like 10 blocks, right? Am I really that bad? Okay, right. One, two, three, four, five, six, ten. <laughs> and then if I just open this up, it's going to go over to there. Don't mind it. Are the other trees actually not in this area? Set radius twenty. Okay, there we go. I found a tree. It's going over to there. So this is a lot more better with the tree capitator, which is which mines a lot more blocks. So it just goes over to every tree it finds in the radius and then uh, it mines them. What the bot doesn't do is it doesn't scan every 20 seconds for new blocks. It just scans it once at the start and then just goes over to them. This is sort of exploiting the mechanic of trees regenerating. And if the tree regenerates, it just goes over to it and then mines it. So yeah, that's how the bot works. This is very, very noticeable. Like, it... I mean, it sort of looks like a human being in my opinion, but people seem to... Back to the fear. People said that they got banned while using this, which I can totally understand. But, I don't know, it... This is as much mimicking of a human that I could do. Don't, 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 don't at me for this, guys. Come on. These type of these types of bot that mimic all the human things is a really hard one. You should use this on maybe private lobbies or lobbies that don't have that many people on it. So yeah, that's it uh, for the auto for Age bot. It can spasm out like this a couple of times, which are probably the main parts of it looking suspicious. But uh, if a tree regenerates, it'll just go for it. There we go. The tree regenerated, it's going for it. It actually looks very human in my opinion, but yeah, whatever. You can't even swing it. Well, uh, that's the glide. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed and be sure to subscribe uh, to the channel because you know 
I'm running out of subscribers. See ya.